And hello everybody and welcome to this preview video for the final day of the U.S. Darts Masters. The darts competition for the World Series of Darts being held in Las Vegas, Nevada today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate all the matches which will be shown today. I've made the bracket there at the top of the screen and the simulator is down there at the bottom of the screen. So you'll be able to see what's going on and how the results are getting put in there. I'm just going to fast forward the results on each match because I don't have a ton of time. The matches are going to start in about 45 minutes from now. So I want to get this video up there. So let's get to the boards and see what we can do. So the first match is going to be between world champion Rob Cross and Premier League runner-up Michael Smith. So let's get them going. All matches will be best of 15, first to eight. And Rob Cross wins in a last leg decider. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and stick that in there. Eight. Let me get his average as well. If the, uh, if the window's click off once in a while, don't be alarmed, that's just me misclicking or other various incorrect button pushes. All right, Smith 7 with an average of 95.22. So we'll go ahead and move forward, number four seed, Rob Cross, make them look nice and pretty. All right, so up next we will have Snakebite, Peter Wright, the number two seed, going against uh, Daryl Gurney, the World Grand Prix champion. And the winner is Peter Wright. Wow, they both played really well. Look at that, 12 180s between them. I hope we can see that standard of play tonight. That would be quite awesome. Look at that finishing as well by Snakebite, 8 for 15, really good. Now that's a really nice match. So let's go ahead and get that in there. 8. Score of 100.95. And Gurney to seven with a score of 101.14. So we'll go ahead and slither in snake bite into the semis. And we'll go on to the next matchup between uh, two-time world champion Gary Anderson against the young Canadian Dawson Marshall, the only... North American player to get to the quarterfinals both years of the U.S. Darts Masters. So let's see what he can do. I hope this is his reference number. Uh-oh, it's not. So I will simply reload the game because apparently I'm stupid. I think he is 67. He is. That's slightly embarrassing, but we're, we'll go with it. And Gary Anderson once again annihilated his opponent. Not as bad as he did yesterday, but pretty good. And my having to restart the game doesn't affect the, the competition whatsoever. Look at this. He almost got a nine dart there. Seven perfect darts you can see here on the screen in the, uh, I guess it was in the, uh, the, the tenth leg. All right. So we'll go ahead and put Gary Anderson through. The standard of play here is unusually good. Um, 105.43. Well, I guess the way he played yesterday, that's not totally unexpected. The big guys really played great yesterday. The Cross, Anderson, and Van Gerwen all had uh, stellar displays. All right, Dawson, two for 92.87. 
not a bad performance, but when you're going against an informed Gary Anderson, anything short of perfection is probably not going to do it. All right, so our last quarterfinal matchup, the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen, against the machine, James Wade. Let's see what we can do here. Excuse me. So I need to get my input box back and bring them onto the stage. And Van Gerwen with a 107. Look at that, Mr. Wade. You averaged 101 and you got killed. You know, when that happens, it usually means one of two things. It's either not your day or you're playing against Michael Van Gerwen. Well, in this case, it was probably both, but hey, who's counting? All right, so Mighty Mike got eight legs there to move on. And let's see, 107.96. I like to put the... I like to put the, uh, the averages just because it looks a little more professional, I think. And Mr. Wade, 101.81. And if you're not too familiar with my simulator, they usually don't average a ton. It's usually only the better players will do that, and very rarely will any of them do it consistently, except for the real elites like, well, these four guys right here. That's why they're ranked one through four in the world. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so next matchup will be the world champion Rob Cross against world number two, Peter Wright. So let's go ahead and get that one. And we will see how this one goes. Peter Wright with the win. A little mild upset, though. Mostly based on form yesterday. Cross looked really good. And Snakebite, well, really didn't, but... Hey, a win is a win for Snakey. All right, so he's got four. Or maybe he changed his darts, but that's probably what happened. He got rid of those ridiculous flights he was using. All right, so 100.07 for Cross. And Snakebite averaged 98.26. He must have gotten rid of those flights because th those are just horrible. All right, so there's Peter Wright into the, into the finals. Now we have uh, Gary Anderson against Michael Van Gerwen. Good luck to both of them. This is definitely the game of the tournament. And here we go. And Gary Anderson beats him in a last leg decider. Wow. Shocking. 6180s from MVG was not enough. Struggled on his finishes. That's unusual, but unfortunate for him. All right, so we're going to have an all-Scottish uh, final. Let me go ahead and plug the stats in here. One oh four point three one and one oh four point six eight. This is an unbelievable standard of play. I hope we get anything resembling this. All right, so now it'll be Snakebite versus the Flying Scotsman here in the final. Will it be Team Ando or Team Snakebite? It will be... Team Ando, and holy crap, he averaged 112 and a half. Oh my god. Wow. That is a beatdown. <laughs> Whoa, that's one of the higher averages I've seen. Seven 180s in ten legs. Holy crap. Gary Anderson is in form. Watch out, everybody. That is amazing. <laughs> Peter Wright averaged a ton and was just flat out non-competitive. Wow. All right, so uh, it appears that with a 112 average, PDC Dart Simulator predicts the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson, is going to be our champion. So, 
there you have it. That is our official preview for the U.S. Darts Masters final day. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you find this awesome and fun and whatnot. If you have any questions about how this was done, feel free to leave a comment, send me a question, send me a tweet, whatever is appropriate. If you'd like to try out this game, feel free to do any of those as well. If you'd like more of this or have something else you'd like simulated, please let me know as well. So until next time, everyone, have a great day watching darts and be sure to tune in next time for some more awesome content. See you, everyone.